Okay, in this video I'm going to talk about how to set up a local development environment for PHP and we're going to be using Champ or XAMP as a lot of people call it. Now, in order to run PHP, you usually have to have a web server. So if you have a hosting account that runs Apache or any other web server, you can just upload your PHP files and run it straight on there. But if you want to do it yourself on your own local computer, you need to set up your own sort of uh, web server. And Champ will do that, or XAMP if you want to call it that. I'm going to go ahead and call it Champ because that's what the people that made it call it, but uh, whatever. So just go to Google and type in XAMPP. And the first thing that pops up should be the link you're looking for, apachefriends.org. Now you can download this for Windows, Linux, and OS X. Today we're going to be doing the Windows version. And all you got to do is click the link. Your download should start automatically. I'm just going to save this to my desktop to make it easier. And it's 109 megabytes, so it's a pretty big file. So it should take just a moment here to download. Okay, so once it's downloaded, you can either click on it right here or navigate to your desktop and double click it. Okay, so here we have the installer and I'm just going to click next through here. Now these are the different things that you can install. MySQL is a database thing, F uh, FileZilla is an FTP server, mail, mail. Uh, so you can install this to work with PHP or Perl. I'm just going to use the PHP for now. And PHP MyAdmin is a MySQL database front-end system. So we can go ahead and uncheck all of these. Basically, we just want PHP and Apache. Apache is the web server. So click Next. Now, this is the directory on your computer where this thing is going to get installed. And remember this, uh, this directory because we're going to need to navigate to that in just a minute. So go ahead and click Next. Uh, da -da -da -da. Unclick this. All right. Okay, so we've completed the Champ setup. Uh, do you want to start the control panel now? Sure. So what we want to do is start the Apache server. So we just click the start button. And bang, zoom. We are now up and running. It's running on ports 80 and port 443. So open your web browser. And if you just type in localhost, you'll get to the dashboard. So open up your directory here and remember when we installed champ earlier we installed it in the champ c champ directory right so you want to navigate to this directory and click on the htdocs file now this is where all of your php files need to go in fact if we go to index that's what this page is coming is is pointing to so let's just test this out by creating a file. And call it test.php. Now if we open this with our Sublime Text Editor or whatever editor you like to use, we can write some PHP code. Echo. Hello world, and save this. Oops, actually it's saving it as a text file. We want to save this as a PHP file, test.php. Now if we come back here, oops, get rid of the dashboard. Here we have our, our file. Now, personally, I like to create a new folder, and let's call it um, PHP, and move our test file into the PHP file. So here we have there. Now I'm going to rename this index, because the home page of any directory is the index page. So then if we navigate to PHP, we get that same hello world file. If we then open, this is my index page, 
save that, hit reload, boom, this is my index page. So there we have how to install Jamp or XAMP, however you want to call it, on a Windows machine. So if you like this video and you want to watch my other PHP videos, head over to codemy.com slash free PHP and you can get my entire PHP course absolutely free. It's normally a subscription at codemy.com is $29 a month, but you can get the PHP course absolutely free if you go to codemy.com slash free PHP. Thanks for watching.